So today I'll be breaking down a track Naked by Reef and what a riff this is. <laughs> first thing to point out we are in drop D so to do that you can play your E string and your open D together and then bring that E string down so it matches the same tone so now we're in drop D let's have a look at the main riff now this one's a really good workout building up stamina strength in your hands so a great track for this so we're playing well we're starting off sorry on the fifth fret of the D string and sliding up to the seventh then we're playing the fifth fret of the G the flat and seventh and then we go back down to the uh, seventh frets and then slide down to the five so you have we've got a ghost slide fretted note ghost slide pretty cool in itself just that i mean you know i use that all the time with it and add in some extra little embellishments okay then from there we're then pulling off to the third fret. Okay, once you've got that, we're then playing the fifth fret of the A and then pulling off to the three. Okay, then this is where we hit the open D. What we're doing after that, after hitting the open D, going back to that third fret. Hearing a chock there. So down up, and then I'm playing the fifth fret of the A string. And this is the tricky bit, we're actually looping it. So after you've played that, you have to kind of like play on the off beat, so. Take your time with it, slow it right down, uh, just work on little chunks. So you could call that chunk one. Okay, the next bit. And then that will be chunk three. Then chunk four. And then put it all together. The riff also changes a little bit where you'll hear the actual riff and before it goes into it, it kind of goes back into the first part again to demonstrate what that means. So you go in, open D and then before you go to the third fret and fifth fret, then launch back into that first part again. Okay, let me demonstrate that again slowly. For the chorus, we're playing an F5 power chord. Now, normally, it would look like this, but as we drop D, that note there goes up a tone. So we have a bar. So we go. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Move it up to the fifth fret. And then you hit an open D string twice. And then we're playing a double stop on the 10th fret of the G and the B string. That's all part of the D minor pentacle. In 10th position. And we've got this chocking part. Basically, note wise, we're just going three up to five. With the chocks. So now you've got that down, go and check out this video up here. This is John Squire's best riff, and here he's using lots more legato technique. And it's be sure to make your legato playing take to the next level. See you over there.